Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe. If you are new here and today's video is going to be a full coverage Friday video. So happy Friday. I asked you guys on Instagram what foundation you wanted to see. This one got the most comments. So this is the foundation I'm going to be doing. Hopefully it works well. I haven't seen any reviews on it. I literally didn't even know this foundation existed, uh, but it is a drugstore foundation. So we'll see how good it is. Hopefully it goes better than last week. Also, I'm on a two week roll. Yay. Um, leave me some comments down below on what foundations you guys want to see in the upcoming weeks. If you want to follow me on any other social media account, that will all be linked down below. All of the products will be listed down below as well. So if you have any questions about that, just check the description box, the shade, the price, yada, yada. All that will be down there. Uh, anyways, so if you haven't subscribed already, please do before you leave. Join our little family. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and turn on your post notifications if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I don't think I have anything else to mention right now, so let's go ahead and get started with this foundation. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the new CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear 3-in-1 Foundation. It has SPF 18 and is supposed to be 24-hour wear. Um, I got the shade Soft Honey, 855 Soft Honey. This is what the bottle looks like. Okay, so I have not seen a single review on this foundation. I've never heard of this foundation. So literally this is going to be a very, very first impression kind of thing. First things first, I'm going to prime. And I know I always use the same primer, but I'm actually switching to a different primer. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I like this primer a lot. It's very hydrating. I do have dry skin, so this works well for me. Then I'm going to go in with a brush and a sponge. I know I need to go wash this off really quickly. I, I'll do that in a minute. I'm going to go in with a brush. This is the Morphe M439 brush, and this is the Morphe Contour and Highlight Sponge, I think. Um, yeah, just so you can see the different finishes and how well each one performs. So it does come with a pump. Um, it's not super duper thick. It's kind of runny, but it's not like super runny, if that makes sense. The shade doesn't look too bad. Ooh, the coverage is nice. I do have a lot of things to cover, so... So far, I'm liking it. It's very light and a lot seems to be going a long way i mean a little is seems like it's going a long way i do think i'll have to build it up obviously but initially it looks pretty good wow so it was really easy to blend out it's super duper light i don't feel like i have anything on my skin coverage was really good more medium coverage for me but definitely full coverage to probably a lot of you guys and i didn't even use half of my foundation so you can still see spots peeking through my darkest spots on my face and I am gonna go ahead and just build it up a little bit see how well it builds the shade is really good wow okay so that's the second layer on it and it built up amazingly it looks so good I'm just gonna try to spot conceal just a few spots just individually but other than that it built up so well wow no wonder you guys wanted me to try it this is really nice okay so i'm gonna go in with the brush now and same thing i just put it on my brush i'm going to just apply it by pouncing 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 oh i forgot to tell you what time it is damn do that it's 224 so that's one layer on with the brush the brush definitely gave me more coverage overall i got way more coverage out of the brush than i did with the sponge um and it looks just as good maybe it's a tad bit heavier than the sponge i'm gonna build it up in like the spot right here but other than that i don't feel like i need to build it anywhere else so beautiful i'm gonna give you guys a close-up of what it looks like right now and then i'm gonna finish my makeup when i'm done with my makeup i will Give you guys another close-up so you can see what it looks like with makeup on top of it. Okay, so here is the sponge side of my face. I know you can still see a few dark spots, but nothing major, and it doesn't look bad at all. Here's the brush side of my face. It's not emphasizing texture or anything. 
It's awesome. Okay, here's my whole face. Okay, so I'm completely done with my makeup. A few things that I want to point out. So it still overall looks really, really good. It looks good on the skin. It's not emphasizing anything. However, I did set the foundation very lightly where I put concealer and then just very lightly right here on the high points of my cheeks. That way I didn't mess it up when I went on with like my bronzer and my blush and stuff. Those places are a little bit more matte and I think that it looks just, when it's mattified, I don't think it looks as good. I thought it looked better when it was wet, like when there was no powder on it. Um, it looked a little bit more fresh and a little bit more natural. Um, putting powder on top of it definitely mattified it and I didn't even put a lot of powder on top of it. It mattified it really, really well. Um, so for me and dry skin, I'm not the fan of that, but I do have a feeling that my oils will peek through throughout the day and hopefully it, it becomes a little bit more natural looking. However, overall it looks really, really good. Um, another thing that I noticed is that it kind of broke up on my chin. like. You can see like my little hair follicles. I don't know if that was like a combination of the concealer I used on top of the foundation and the powder. I don't know because like I said, when I just put it on initially, it didn't have that problem. So I don't know if maybe setting it did that for me. But other than that, I don't see anything wrong with this foundation. It looks beautiful on the skin. It's not emphasizing anything. So I'm gonna wear this for like, um, just as long as I possibly can and show you guys how it wore throughout the day or like what it looks like at, by the end of the day. I'm gonna be guys close up really quickly so you can see what it looks like up close and personal. Okay, so here's my full face. Okay, here's the sponge side. See my chin? You see all those little dots? These are all my hair follicles. Um, here's the brush side. Okay, so yeah, overall I really like the foundation so far. Hopefully this wears well throughout the day, but we'll see later on tonight. Alright guys, so I am back. It is really, really, really late. It is 12.15 in the morning, which means I have had this on for like 10 hours, close to 10 hours. There's a few things that I wanna know. A, it did wear all day long. It hasn't smudged, it hasn't come off anywhere, it is all there. I still see my blush, which is crazy. Um, my oils did peek through, however, in my cheek area, uh, it kinda settled into my pores. I feel like if I blot though, it'd be a little bit better, or if I apply powder there, it'd be fine. Those little follicle dots went away, on my chin, they're not really there anymore. Maybe a little bit, but not totally. On the perimeter of my face, it looks pretty good, but anywhere I put concealer, it kind of looks a little cakey, oily, and kind of just like I've been wearing it for a long, long time. Um, but on the perimeter of my face, it looks great. But yeah, it definitely settled like around my nose, into my chin. It did settle into my pores, like here, here. And then, like I said, it kind of just settled onto my chin. Yeah, I definitely look like I'm wearing makeup now. Um, earlier it settled, or it sat on the skin a lot better than it's sitting now, but it's not terrible. I've had this on for 10 hours and it doesn't look terrible. I was out and about, kind of. I, I had to go run a few errands and I was wearing a mask and it didn't come off at all with the mask on. Um, and I was out for a few hours, so like, it didn't come off at all with my mask on. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think overall, I like the foundation. The foundation also didn't have any fragrance in it or anything like that. Um, it didn't, it doesn't seem like it had anything, any irritants in it if you're acne prone um, to make you cause acne. However, it did bring a few pimples that I already had. Like I already had these pimples. It did bring them to the surface more. Um, and I'm sure it's just because I'm clogging that what's it called? I'm clogging that pore or that, you know, that acne spot. So it's obviously going to come out to the surface. It didn't make any new acne too. So that's really good. Okay. So I did find my foundation at Target. I just looked at Ulta and they don't have it. So I think that you could probably only get this at like Target, Walmart, places like that. But it is only $10.49. So I think for $10, this is a great foundation. Um, 
I think that if you are oily, be careful or use a pore filling primer. Uh, I think that even I should use a pore filling primer. Yeah, it comes in 14 shades. So it's not like the greatest shade range, but if you can find your shade, I would definitely suggest trying this foundation. It is very comfortable and lightweight. I didn't feel like I had anything on my face all day long. Ooh. Oh, actually it says it has 21 shades in this foundation. Um, maybe not on the website that I'm on, but yeah, it says that it has 21 shades and it's cruelty free, which is great. Yeah, I definitely wanna give this foundation another try because I think overall it looks really, really good. Um, I just wanna try doing it a different way, but Overall, I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna be guys some close-ups really quickly and then close this video out. Okay, so this is gonna be a full face. Don't mind. Around my mouth. So here's the sponge side of my face. So you can move my pores. I mean, they're not terrible, but. Okay, here's the brush side of my face. So you can see it broke up around my nose a little bit. said have a blur right here here one on my forehead right here and right here okay and then my chin See, it's not like the prettiest but for 10 hours of wear I really don't think it looks bad at all so yeah I'm pleasantly surprised okay so yeah that is it for this video I am liking this foundation again I'm gonna try it some more to see if it grows on me a little bit more but overall I think that this is a great foundation for the price that it is. Anyways, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.